Hey there everybody, this is Potterbone, and welcome to another Bind Reaction of My Hero Academia. This time we have Season 5, Episode Number 12, which I'm pretty sure is also the 100th episode. Okay, uh, as always, be sure to support the official release, and this is a watch-along, meaning have your own copy of the video ready, uh, or, you know, the other version in which you don't need that, link in the description below. Uh, so yeah, let's just get it started, see what they've got in store for us. Uh, and starting the video in three, two, one, and go. UA Koko Hero Cup. Each name A Gumi to B Gumi no team Taiko in your center of Kundema. Sansho I Pai Ichiwa. So we're done with the battles and moving on to the main story. We're moving on to the other half of the season soon. I say main story, but this is a storyline too. I'd like to see what happens with uh, with him. Which in so. Hopefully he does make it into the hero course because, you know, I'm really rooting for the guy and being left behind in general studies, he does need to catch up. So hopefully in the hero course, he'll have more opportunity to, uh, to go with it and train and become better. Not that he isn't, not that he's a pushover now, but... Yeah, he, he definitely needs more training, as he himself has said. Uh, if he joins, I wonder if he'd be joining Class B. Class 1B. I'd also like to see what his hero costume would look like. That probably means a lot to him. <clears throat> From second year. Well, that's what I'd like to know, too. <laughs> you got to say today.
Yeah, hopefully he doesn't know, actually be able to use it. Maybe he can't because it's not his quirk. Oh? Oh. That's always adorable. New power and all for one. Hmm. <coughs> well, as someone who knows, yeah. So was someone before him. Hmm. You might be onto something there. Well, some things have to be said. <laughs> yeah, he never really changes. Yeah. What the fuck are you doing a minute? <laughs> Thank you.
he guessed correctly, but he bought the lie pretty easily. Well, you guys got some, uh, some good footage. <laughs> she knows what she's talking about. <laughs> Is he lying though? Is it because if he could control it better, he could, uh, oh, that makes sense now. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If he tried to use it, and he had taken the energy, that's that's actually a good point. No, I don't think like that. A tool is a tool, depending on how you use it. Yeah, she kind of hibernates, doesn't she? Well, here's hoping for them. <laughs> One.
What inspirational speech? You plankton. Interesting way for him to put it. Is that going to be important? Something about, I guess, a company entering hero support business? So... What's going on here? Oh, it's... Yeah, I'd have to imagine that he would be able to deal with ice, whoever this guy is. Well, they understand right and wrong. <laughs> nice line. <laughs> Yeah, he's, uh, he's trained really well. You need to back away, lady. Yeah, but All Might just can't turn off the saving people thing, can he? What you got now? Nice. Yeah, we did see something like that before.
Who's this guy? <laughs> this guy's got a weird head for such a buff guy. <laughs> Slide and go. <clears throat> oh, so that was black market support item. Doesn't like being touched like that. <laughs> yeah, it's your fault now. So I don't know if you fix it. Uh, all right. So they passed. I feel like an idiot. I didn't recognize their voices. Uh, all right. So they were headed back from the exam. They had just gotten their licenses. And came across a bunch of pickpockets using a tidal wave as cover. <laughs> All right. A tidal wave of carbonated water, apparently. It's like, why does it have to be carbonated? Why not just the fact that he can control water? Whatever, it's beside the point. Uh, I guess he can control carbonated water. But he was uh, a throwaway, a throwaway pickpocket bad guy, so it doesn't really matter what his deal was, just to show off what that uh, Todoroki and Bakugo now have provisional licenses. So that's good. scene. Let's party for you guys with cake. Santo's cake. He's eating cake on him. Uh, yeah, he didn't like that. <laughs> Stop that before he gets there. Uh, I haven't had a additional scene in a while. It usually just goes right to the preview. Uh, so yeah. That, that was cute at the end there. Okay, so... Now we're getting into the meat of the... Of the back half of the season, apparently. This is what, what's going to be happening here. Now, <clears throat> just to talk about what... Midoriya had said. Is that this stuff is coming up because it's the right time for it. Apparently... The quirk can sense that something is happening, and they need and they need more. Deku will need more. Uh, hopefully, he can get it under control and, and work it out. And looking forward to seeing what the other ones are. Probably going to be a while before that happens, but yeah, they just wrote in a nice way to give him like a. To make him super OP in the end. This is like they did with, uh, with Naruto. They just kept adding powers to him. He's like too OP. So I haven't watched the new se the new series, but yeah, by the end of Shippuden, he was just like 
way, way too much. Uh, anyway. So yeah, I, I, I can see it going in a similar way. And now they have more that he can do. And hopefully his body will be able to handle it. Because, yeah. All for one can handle multiple quirks. And is able to do so easily. But when he tries to give other people more than two quirks. Uh, they've had to like turn them into a Nomu type character. Where all the brain power goes to power. And they just lose all sense of self essentially. I mean in the first movie he gave the villain an extra quirk. But that was one extra quirk. And it already made him kind of. And he was pretty unstable. But I don't know what that character was like beforehand. Uh, hopefully... This will follow in the same, in a similar vein as uh, as All for One, in which Deku can use these quirks without losing sense of self. I mean, it's based off of his power, so I would think that it would work that way. That was that's one of my one of the concerns that I was having that I wasn't really vocalizing. Is that yeah, when they described what they did with the No movies, that they had to modify them to be able to handle the quirks and meaning that they lost a lot of self I mean there was that newer Nobu at the end of the last season that, uh, that Endeavor fought definitely had intelligence could speak and everything but up until that it was just basic commands were followed uh anyway so looking forward to seeing where they go from here uh, it was a good explanation for Monomo's powers and why he didn't, like, blow himself up by taking... Taking one for all. Uh, yeah. If he takes in a quirk that requires them to stockpile power of some or something in order to work, then he doesn't take that stockpile, too. He just takes the ability to do it. But it only lasts for five minutes anyway, so what's the point? There's not much time they'd be able to stockpile. And it took generations to stockpile the power that One for All has. So, multiple lives. Uh, anyway, so I want to thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. But I'm going to end this one here. Until next time. Take care.